Think thoughts of goodwill. Remind yourself there's nobody out there in the world that you would like to see suffer. And if there is, then ask yourself why. What would you gain from their suffering? You might say, well, they would be able to see the error of their ways. There are a lot of people who learn how to see the error of their ways without being punished, without suffering. That's the best thing to wish for other people who have been misbehaving. May they see the error of their ways, change their ways. And of course, that applies to you too. In areas where you've been unskillful, may I change my ways too. So that the way you act and speak and think is actually for the purpose of happiness. We act and speak and think usually for that purpose, but it doesn't always fulfill the purpose. Sometimes we do things that are producive of harm and suffering. So we have to learn how to undo those habits. And we do that because we have good will for ourselves. We don't want to see ourselves suffer. We don't want to cause suffering for anyone else either. You think about the Buddha after he gained his awakening. All the things he could have taught people, he decided to focus on this problem, the problem of suffering that people cause themselves. And so we can take advantage of that fact that he spent all that time teaching people that the way they suffer is not necessary and they can change their ways. It's within their power to put an end to that suffering. But the mind has to be concentrated, because the mind that's not concentrated is like sunlight. Sunlight on a, on, a, on a sidewalk can make the sidewalk a little bit warm. But if you were to concentrate it, you could burn things. In other words, you put its power all in one spot, all on one topic, and it can burn right through them, whatever that is. Here you're trying to burn through your defilements, you're trying to burn through your greed, aversion, and delusion. So first get the mind focused on the breath. When we say focused, it doesn't mean that it has to be in one spot, simply that the breath is the one topic you focus on. Because after all, when you work with the breath, you find that it is a whole body process. And there's no place where the Buddha says you have to focus on this part of the body or that part of the body. He says whole body, whole body. Be aware of the whole body breathing in, the whole body breathing out. And the focus is on maintaining that sense of, I'm going to keep tabs of how the breath energy feels. And feels in the midst of all the other changes that are going on around, both in the body and outside. When the mind has that focus, that sense of one place where it's going to hang on, then its power gets more concentrated. And you can begin to see things that you didn't see before. You begin to burn through your greed, burn through your anger, burn through your delusion. because the power of the mind is concentrated in one place. So the reason we don't appreciate the power of the mind is we haven't really trained it. But once you train it, you realize it's capable of all kinds of things. And we try to use that all kinds of things power for a good purpose, to find happiness that doesn't harm anybody at all. That's a noble goal. Most people go through life just looking for happiness, and they don't really care for the impact it has, even on themselves, much less on other people. They just want what they want. But we're training ourselves to step back from those desires and to figure out which ones are really worth following and which ones are not. Which ones lead to a happiness that is totally harmless, that leads you to something that lies beyond aging, illness, and death. And when you look for something like that, that's when your search for happiness becomes a noble search for happiness. But for it to work, you need to learn how to get the mind concentrated, get the mind focused. Because it's the power of the focused mind that gives you strength and also gives you the stillness you need to see things clearly. And a sense of well-being that allows you to look at some of your old ways of looking for happiness and realizing you don't want to go there anymore. You've got something better. something right here inside.